Pay-per-view traffic or PPV traffic has been popularized by companies like 50 on Red and Lead Impact. But recently, media buyers and online advertisers have been flocking to PPC traffic and getting better results. We're going to explore why, examine some of the differences between the two business models and dig a little bit deeper into that today to help you as an online marketer, advertiser, or media buyer understand where you can get the best return on your investment and in turn make the most money. So we start with the homepage of 50 on Red and I'm here just because this is one of the great companies, one of the better companies for PPV traffic and of course we know lead impact. So the first thing we do is define it. What is PPV traffic? It's also known as CPV traffic. It's pay-per-view traffic or cost per view. Uh, it means the same thing. It essentially means when somebody sees your ad, when your ad is displayed, you're going to pay for it. You have to pay for that every single time. And how is it displayed? That's very, very important to know. It's often overlooked. Whenever you're doing any kind of advertising, you need to know how your ad's being displayed because that will help you understand whether it's going to be effective or not. So with 50 on Red and Lead Impact as well as any other CPV network, a lot of them will use pop under traffic. And I know that both of these great networks do use pop under traffic. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you a basic example of pop under. So let's take a look here. I'm going to click on this demo and see how it works. Once you see I click, the very first thing that happens is the pop-up gets blocked. And that's important to note because I'm not using any special plugins. I'm just using a standard version of Google Chrome. And this would apply to Firefox or Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge, if you will. They all have built-in abilities to block plugin, uh, to block pop-unders. Excuse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click there and I'm going to continue to that page to take a look just so you can see what it looks like. So a pop under, it pops another tab or it pops under my screen and here is just a basic, basic ad. And oftentimes it pops behind your browser and that's why we call it a pop under. And it's just a page there. So I'm going to go back and we're just going to rest on the 50 on red home page. One of the issues that marketers and media buyers have with a pop under is that it's difficult to get someone's attention. So forget everything else and the effectiveness of your landing page, the look of your ad, how attractive it is, how interesting it is. As you saw on our demo screen, the pop under, it gets blocked. It gets blocked quite a bit. So when it does show, obviously it's behind the window or in a separate tab getting views on is a little bit difficult. A lot of people, and you would know this from your own experience, think of how many times you get a pop-up window and you just close it. You, you immediately close it because you weren't expecting it. You didn't want an ad to pop up on you. So it's a little bit difficult uh, through pop-unders with say Lead Impact or 50 on Red to get eyes on your campaign or to get people who actually spend time and look at it and absorb the ad as opposed to just closing it out. But the moment it pops and it loads, that's an impression that you're going to pay for. So that hurts your return on investment. And of course, you're also paying for all your losers. Now, when I say that, we talk about split testing. I'm going to show you a little bit more about that when we get to the CPLE dashboard and sort of go through uh, the ropes there. But just focusing on the pay-per-view model, the summary here is that you're not always going to have the best campaign. You don't always know what your return on your investment is going to be or which ones are the winners and which ones are the losers. That's why we test different landing pages. You know, here's just an example. Here's a landing page for 50 on red. Here's a landing page for lead impact. They're both different. Which one performs better at getting people to sign up? We don't know. They do. But there's a lot of testing therein. So the problem with pay-per-view or CPV traffic or pay-per-view traffic is that you're paying for your losers because every time an impression generates you pay for it. even if it's not a good ad that's going to get someone to interact with it and it doesn't look very good you have to pay for that each and every single time so you can allocate a big budget and then discover later and say okay well this might have worked well somewhere else so i was confident and i put a big budget behind it 
but because it's being pushed only through this pop under traffic, it's not doing so well. It makes it very hard to test. And in the world of advertising, everything is about testing and understanding where you're going to get the best result. You can create two landing pages that are extremely similar and make a few tweaks and one will outperform the other. For example here, let's look at this lead impact uh, landing page. If this sign up button weren't here and the only sign up button were up here, that would make a very big difference because people don't see a clear call to action. So when you're doing your own advertising, as you would know, these are things that you look at. Now, if we tested two different pages, we'd have to pay for both of them. We'd have to pay for the winners and the losers. Now, we're gonna take a look at PPC traffic, pay-per-click traffic from CPA lead. And this is a, an example of the dashboard. You'll notice right away, it's very different from lead impact or 50 on red. In my opinion, much cleaner, much more professional. You can see your statistics, you can manipulate things, you can move some of these units around so that uh, you can have a customized look at everything and get all the right stats, turn things on and off. These are all tests, but it gives you a lot of good information. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the model and why the model is so much more advantageous to advertisers as opposed to Lead Impact or 50 on Red, um, who delivered PPV traffic. Now, PPC traffic, if you test something, you're only going to pay when you get a click. That means as a marketer, as an advertiser, as an affiliate, a media buyer, that you're able to figure out what works best for you so you get the best return on your investment. If you get a thousand impressions, I'm gonna give you an example between the two. Let's say that your CPM costs you $50. Let's say it's a high amount. For every thousand impressions, the rate is $50. You're targeting top of the line US traffic. And let's just say that's what the price is for your keywords and, and everything else. So using one of the other models, uh, or using PPV, you would pay $50 for those thousand impressions. And let's say you did 10,000 impressions, you'd pay $500. Now, if you didn't get good conversions, if the campaign wasn't successful and you weren't attracting people's attention, well, you're out $500. With CPA lead, if we were to push 5,000 impressions, well, you're not being charged at all. You're only gonna be charged when somebody clicks and you're gonna be charged your bid. As you see, we have clicks and we have the bid. And that's performance-based marketing. You only pay for what you get. Uh, and that really makes sense to me as opposed to paying for views. The other thing is, as we said, you can split test. So you could try your winners and you can try your losers. And if something doesn't do well, it won't get any clicks. As opposed to impressions, well, they're gonna show everything, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's successful for you, whether it's not. It's your problem, it's your loss. CPA lead, pay per click, you're only paying per click. The other big thing that I wanna look at with you today is the way that your ads are displayed. So we know that pop-unders get blocked uh, and they appear behind your page. With CPA lead, we have some exciting different methods of displaying your ads that we think will engage users and visitors a little bit better. So this is an example of our ad wall. The advantage to an ad wall, something like that, is it's one of our unique methods. And you see so many different ads on there that if somebody were to click on your campaign specifically, let's take another look here. If I looked at all of these, I have a lot of options. I may not choose any of them, but I'm not gonna accidentally just click on one. It's not random. I'm not gonna just click because I'm being bombarded with it. I have a lot of choices, so I'm gonna choose what appeals to me the most. Uh, for me here, if I was going personally, it would probably be I'm a coffee drinker. It might be the Starbucks win a gift card or get Starbucks samples. I'd have to think about it. But it would be something that genuinely catches my attention. And so that's the advantage of an ad wall. When you're putting it in there, the reason we wanna make sure someone is interested is so that you get the best return on your investment. When I click, that's when you get charged. We're not only making sure that you only get charged for performance when you get a click, we're making sure that for those clicks, the individual is genuinely interested. So I'm looking at this page on an ad wall. I'm only gonna click where I'm interested. That means you're only gonna get charged when there's a good chance that I'm gonna engage 
you're at. I'm going to click on one. It pops up. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to engage it. You have a much higher chance of getting a return on your investment because you have a targeted, interested visitor. And that's how we make money as opposed to popping something behind the screen where maybe they are, maybe they're not. Maybe it's a good landing page. Maybe it's not. So we go back and we have other display formats. We also have pop-unders as well, since we like to mix in different methods to see what will work best for you. But we expand beyond that. We're gonna take a look here at some of our display methods. So this is an example on the CPA lead blog. And interestingly enough, it's PPC traffic versus PBV traffic, which seems to be the hot topic these days with so many media buyers, advertisers, and affiliates shifting towards pay-per-click traffic. Here you see an example again of how we would display some of your ads. So and this is just full on display. So it's a banner on the side, skyscraper. We have all these different ads. And again, you're only gonna navigate your attention here and click on that which interests you. And if we scroll down, we see more down here. So if I'm on this page, you're paying per click. These impressions and all of the display that is being given to you by CPA lead is no charge. You're only charged when there's a click. And I'm not going to click right now because I don't want to charge anybody. But again, if I'm reading this article, let's see whether it takes a genuine user to engage. I'm going to see these ads and I'm only going to click if something really catches my attention because I have an article here to look at and I have a few different options. And actually showing more ads it has been found to do a better job of attracting someone's attention because there's more variety, there's more going on as opposed to one small little ad or one thing overtaking the page. So if I do choose to click on something here, it's because I'm genuinely interested. Again, for me, it's Starbucks samples, but the hoverboard giveaway is kind of cool. I might click there. I would have to think about it. And that's another display method from CPA Lead. So with pay-per-click traffic, it's only performance-based. You only pay when you receive a click. And then there are so many different avenues that ensure that your visitors are engaged and interested. They have a lot of options. They're only going to pick yours. They're going to take a look around on these side banners. And we also allow for interstitial ads. An interstitial ad would look something like this. It would be embedded in between two pages on a website where someone would have to take a look and then move on. We try to mix in different ad formats for you and then we have a smart algorithm that recognizes what's working best for your ad and that's where you'll get the most focus. So we take all the legwork in that regard as opposed to forcing you to figure every little detail out. It's the very similar to the way that the CPA lead pay-per-click system also allows you to test without having risk and exposure and hurting your ROI and paying for traffic that really doesn't back out. So the bottom line I think that we're looking at between the pay-per-view method and the pay-per-click method is performance. You can pay for everything and take your chances or you can pay only for where you receive performance. Uh, now some thoughts on where pay-per-view might make more sense is if you have an ad where you just want as many eyes on it as possible and the interaction with it isn't very important, you're not really trying to sign someone up or sell anything or, or generate money off that ad, then you can get great visibility with pay-per-view. You know, you can get it out there, have people look at it. It might be a message. It might be something pertaining to a charity or just some sort of awareness that you're trying to raise. That's great because you get a lot of eyes on it and you're paying just to have eyes on it, almost like a billboard. But if you're actually trying to generate revenue from an ad, then it's a no-brainer in my opinion. And I think the fact that so many people are moving over to pay-per-click makes sense. If you're trying to make money, then you want people interacting because the only way that you're going to make money on the back end of the ad is if someone completes a conversion for you or takes the steps necessary to generate revenue. So that's the general breakdown of PPV traffic versus PPC traffic. A lot of great companies involved, different methods. It all just depends on what your goals are. Uh, if you're trying to make money from your ads, the way to go these days is pay-per-click. One of the other advantages as well, and now this is just specific, not so much to pay-per-click and pay-per-view, but maybe some of the networks involved. Um, and I'm just going to use Lead Impact and 50 on Red as an example. So 50 on Red has a minimum deposit of $500. And so that is, to me, that's a little bit tricky. 
Um, same with Lead Impact. Lead Impact has a minimum deposit of a thousand dollars. What's tricky about that is if you don't have the ability to split test and you're paying for everything that comes your way, that's quite a budget to put down before you have any certainties, before you figured it things out, before you know whether it's backing out for you. With CPA Lead, you can deposit larger amounts and there are some big bonuses that you can receive and we have a coupon page for you as well just to help you get a better return on your investment. But the minimum as of today is $50. So you can get in with less money in, test, experiment. You're only going to pay for our performance anyhow. So you're so covered and it's so much safer for you in that regard in terms of exposure of the amount that you're putting down. So really, again, it just comes down to what your needs are, what you're trying to do and what you're comfortable with. Whatever you do, best of luck and thanks for watching this video.